Okay, folks, in case you missed it, here's the lesson of our first sculpture skill, pinch pot. So first you have to get your clay working and get it softened up. So you have to kind of work it a bit, something that helps. Make sure you put down paper first. Don't work on wooden surface or anything. You can use the front of your sketchbook. Something that helps soften your clay is if you use your body weight to kind of flatten it out and then fold it in on itself like you're preparing dough right flatten it out and fold it in so the more you work it the softer it gets make sure you take off any rings so you don't have rings getting gunk on them okay so first technique we're creating utilitarian art or art that has a purpose. Some of the first art that humans made would often serve a purpose. So we're gonna um, learn the skill of making a pinch pot today. So we start off with a ball. It doesn't have to be a perfect ball. And just holding it, use your thumbs to kind of push in a little bit, make a little dent, turn it, push, turn, push, so now I've got a little dent in my ball and I can start to do the pinching technique. So I'm going to go along the edge and you're going to do this with firm pressure, but not really hard. The idea here is that your container has no holes or cracks in it. So you want to work firmly, but not too hard. You don't want to create cracks that then would let say water spill out if we were making a cup. Okay, so pinching around the outside and slowly rotating. Try and keep your walls even. You can kind of, uh, if you pinch using your whole um, finger instead of just the tips of the fingers, use the whole finger, then you can start to lengthen and pull out the walls of your vessel. Again, it needs to have no holes. It needs to hold water. If we were in the classroom, I would put it to the test and make sure that there were no holes and that it would hold water. So keep turning, pinching, try to keep it even. Take a look, see if any of the walls are getting too thin. Maybe don't pinch them, just work on the thicker ones. rotate and pinch. You can start to push down to kind of make a bit of a flat bottom so that it'll stand up on its own. Oh, I've got a I've got a weak wall here. I've got to fix. Okay. Pinch and turn, pinch and turn. Keep going. So now you can see it's actually quite a deep little vessel. Now we're just working with small amounts of modeling clay. So it's not a big cup, but there, see, I took my rings off beforehand. Now I can put them in there. It holds them. Very nice. Working my edges. Pinch and turn, pinch and turn. So that we get a nice little vessel. And that is the pinch pot technique.